Hi everyone, how are you today? Welcome to, um, gosh, I think I'm actually almost to the halfway point, unless I, except for the fact that I added like, I think three more topics. So I'm, I'm at like what I initially planned to be my halfway point. So that's kind of exciting. <laughs> yeah, congrats. Um, <laughs> and so tomorrow we are gonna finally do what I've been waiting for for the entire series and that's the wardrobe edit because now we've started to look at your color palette started to look at your silhouette we've started to look at the overall mood for what your personal style is we've started to look at like overcoming your own like body image and just feeling more confident with who you are as a person so one last thing before we can edit your wardrobe is to start considering actually the functional needs of your wardrobe. What is your lifestyle entail and what do you actually need to get from point A to point B? And um, so I'm here with Britt. So hey guys. Britt and I are working on Jomper together. Um, if you're new to Jomper, actually, let me just type in the website really quick so you can go and look and see what Jomper is. To the Instagram. Okay. <laughs> At Jumper. Instagram is our website. So Jumper Life on Instagram. I actually just had a conversation with, <laughs> um, I call her a futurist. Her name is Christina um, Traig, and we were talking about, you know, the future of, like, websites, because um, I've designed a bunch of websites for some, some large brands like Gap and Charles Schwab. And uh, we were talking about Jumper's website, mm -hmm. and I was like, you know, what advice do you have, Christina? And she's like, you know, just in 10 years, websites aren't going to exist, so we could build, you know, maybe like a chat bot or something. And I was just like, mind blown. So anyways, that's why we're directing you to I have to do research. I don't know what a chat bot is. Yeah, yeah. it's, you know, it's, it's like, think of it as an app. If you design an app, it can live anywhere. So say in five or 10 years, you know, we might have a website on a wall or on a glass panel somewhere. So we're not all going to be on our computers looking at websites. So anyways, I digress. <laughs> um, but yeah, so these are... <laughs> hashtag future, hashtag fashion tech. Um, so, uh, yes, functionality. Um, what does your lifestyle entail? Uh, do you work out? What is, what is kind of the overall vibe or feeling of when you go to work? And then what are the activities that you do afterwards? So, um, all these things are good for you to start look at when you're going to edit your wardrobe because you actually want to think in terms of like a proportion of what do you have in your wardrobe that meets all of these different criteria in your lifestyle and do you actually have everything that you need oh carol thank you so much thank you for tuning in is that your mom uh, my mom's name is carol but carol's actually a, probably one of my oldest friends she's my best friend in middle middle school oh hi carol so <laughs> Um, it's yeah, great that you're tuning in. Um, today's topic is functionality. So yeah, you actually can do an exercise where you list out all the needs of your lifestyle and you can list out like special events that you might attend or, and then you kind of line it all up to a certain degree of like what you, a percentage almost of what you do these things. And then, um, you want to make sure that your wardrobe ha meets all of that criteria. And we'll do this again when we talk about a uh, capsule wardrobe because that's also making sure you have your wardrobe contain everything like that you need. But since I have Britt here today, we want to talk to you a little bit. And we also want to hear uh, all of your feedback on what needs do your clothing not meet. Like, what do you need from your clothing the function of your clothing to get you from where you need to go and what are kind of your ideals as far as like the comfort and the fit and the style of your lifestyle and how the clothing can best match that. So Britt, do you want to talk a little bit about how functionality is super important to you? I would love to talk about that. So my wardrobe is deeply rooted in function because I do so many different things a day. Um, so. 
I'd say my routine is I wake up, I usually work out, um, and I ride my bike to go work out. So highly, high, I need a highly functional outfit to get me from A to B. Um, so work out, and then I'll come back and work. She also rollerblades. She also <laughs> plays basketball. She's also kind of a rebel, and um, she is not afraid to hop a fence. <laughs> This is true. And when you live in a in a but environment, she needs an outfit that will allow her to do that. Yeah. So basically, if you live in an environment in a big city like Soma, or even if you're a mom and you're with your kids on the playground, like is your outfit highly functional for your day? And what I like to think about is it is it functional for what you want to do, but also does it function in the way you want to look? So that's what I try to you know reach and that's what I'm trying to reach with jumper is a functional outfit that looks you know elegant and makes you feel like how you want to feel so today I wore a romper to work out in um but I wore this cute little cutout bra because I want to feel sexy when I work out and it's also really Here, hot today you want to model your outfit yeah sure so this is a romper <laughs> it's not a jumper because we did not make it um I'm making the rompers right now but we're making so. three rompers this week but it's hot in San Francisco today and this was functional for me. It also has Which pockets. <laughs> you know, I can put my phone in it so I can listen to my music. Um, so it's, I'd say, a highly functional, if you have a scale of functionality and sex appeal, I'd say it's in the upper corner. So that's our objective with Jomper. <laughs> <laughs> a good balance of looking nice, but actually being able to do things. So, and um, we're just having a meeting actually with, uh, we're doing a collaboration with two designers, which do you guys want to introduce yourself? I think they're, they're shy to go live. <laughs> There's, yeah, I mean, can I introduce you? Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah, that's Come on guys, just say hi. It's fine. It's fine. Not very many people are tuning in, but anyway. Yoon Sik and Kate. <laughs> See, not scary. <laughs> So we have been having a discussion about um, kind of <clears throat> what we want, what direction we want fashion to take. And especially in San Francisco where the fashion industry is kind of fresh. Um, there are a lot of like designers there, but um, not as many like global brands that really are kind of a unique style, we think. So um, we're having a discussion around like what is kind of this aesthetic of what jumper life means. And it's um, essentially like a luxury innovation, but innovation not just in um, like tech forward or tech thinking, innovation also in this sense of freedom that I think San Francisco really brings to people because it's still like its history. It's like the wild west and like everything is new and we're, conquering, pushing boundaries, and just making new discoveries every day. So the city <laughs> lends itself, yes, yeah, some inspiration <laughs> image to, like, innovation, but also not just through tech, but also through, like, a fun and youthful lifestyle. So, um, and then also just what is, like, modern, what is new, and, um, yeah. Modern and new is great. Yeah. I see it everywhere in the city. You know, I was riding my bike to the gym this morning and I see two different kind of modern skateboards whiz by and it's the skateboard the boosted skateboard with um, a controlled device so they can quickly and efficiently get to work and I'm just thinking wow we really do live in the future here um, so we're just trying to make clothes to enable people to live the lifestyle they want to live here and in other cities as well um, yeah, when you say modern, like, what does modern mean to you in terms of functionality? Um, in terms of functionality, it's just kind of being aware of what kind of materials or what, what is out there that people are creating and um, as far as, like, technology and how you can actually incorporate that, but have it look beautiful at the same time as that work really smoothly and effortlessly so um, yeah I think that would be a very fresh direction for fashion to go because there is a, there are like tech fashion ideas out there like gadgets and different 
sensor fabrics and stuff. So I'm really curious to see how that can be developed and really incorporate the two parts to it of um, something that is very tech forward where the technology is working and the function is there, but it's also very like artistic and um, like, as we're doing with like personal style, it just really like represents something beautiful or it actually looks beautiful and it, it feels great on the body and it is like fashion and it is something you can wear as a fashion piece but also that it works really well so right and I'd go on the opposite side of that like I'm gonna go there but there's so many athletic brands that are saying they're lifestyle brands and I'm not dissing them but I'm just asking the question is it really appropriate to wear a crop top in high-waisted spandex to the office? Like, you can throw on a blazer with it, but like, is that appropriate? And like, what, like, what, um, how do you push that? You know, how do you push this athletic aesthetic um, into something that's fashion, that's individual, that's not something, you know? Yeah, how that's do you, just for the gym, right? Yeah, how do you, how do you make something that is functional but it's still fashion, which. I wish you would share on this because he's a genius. <laughs> he just blew our minds on this presentation. Yoon, <laughs> can you speak to it? Hmm? Functionality. Can you speak to two sentences on it? What? The functionality? Function, how do you make something functional and fashion? Um, it's all about the construction and that's what I learned from the <laughs> <laughs> You know, actually, no one's watching right now. Oh, okay. So, um, <laughs> yeah, the functionality to me, because I was a menswear designer, and what I learned, uh, the meaning of function is always about menswear, because menswear is all about function. It's not about crazy details or design, so it's all about, about body. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Yoon. Thanks, Yoon. <laughs> A humble genius. Yeah. I'm just delighted he's here. With Kate, Kate's a color theorist as well as a designer. So we love color because it evokes mood, which Dre has talked about. Um, when I think of color, though, I don't think it's a. Is color a function? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean. Style. Have you thought about that before? You just create this question out of nowhere. I just created this question out of nowhere. It is a new question. Uh, is color a function? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a fe it's like a feature. It's a, a design choice. Mm -hmm. um, and, I mean, it, I guess it could create, like, well, I don't know. I'm not sure. What I, do you think? I think? I think color functions as a mood. That's its function. Yeah. So, you can choose to blend in, or you can choose to evoke how you're feeling, or if you want to be seen, you know, it's, like, all different. Um, emotions. So I, I chose to wear orange today because it's sunny out and I was in a good mood. So I wore orange. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> so here are some tips essentially for thinking of, in regards to your personal style and your lifestyle and having. I'll sit with you. Her eyes are chopped off. Yeah, come sit down with me. And we can show you a little bit what we're working on. So we've got a lot of imagery that's inspiring jumper. So when we're talking about function, we're thinking you want to be able to rollerblade. Like, so like think about what your needs are. Do you want to be able to go out and do, like in, throughout the course of one day, do you want to go from going to the gym, going to work, going out with friends or is your lifestyle more outdoors you need to maybe go out into nature and then come back and have like another sort of lifestyle or do you need a lot of lounge wear and so I want you to like start to kind of bridge the gap between what you have in your wardrobe and just what needs that you need to have met and start to think of solutions for that so that you can really wake up in the morning and not even have to think twice about what you need to wear to really meet your lifestyle needs like so for me I always want to wear like tailored stuff and nice stuff but at the same time I like my actual office desk is a yoga mat and I stretch and I do like things so I need like stretchy tailored wear 
So she does like, these emails are, in the splits, guys. <laughs> Explain just that. You can think about <laughs> that, like problems. Like if so, if you are having a problem with the functionality of your clothes, start to brainstorm exactly how you want to like solve that and what can help you solve that. And if your clothing is not meeting something, like I need to have clothing that has pockets mm. because I am, or I basically even need like a utility belt because I have my scissors, I've got my my sewing pins, I've got pencils, I've got a notebook and all these things while I'm working. So like think about the utility of your day and what you need. Mm. And then when we do the edit tomorrow, we can actually hash out like an when you question what you own, like, is it actually meeting your needs and everything, so. I like that. Mm -hmm. I've heard the term survivalist a lot. Like, if you had, you know, one day left or you had to survive for one week in one outfit, say, or if you're traveling the world, what would you wear? So I think that's a really great way to um, start to think about the functionality of your your outfit. Like, could you, you know survive for a day or a week in this outfit Mm -hmm. and if you can't like maybe think about what do you need that can help you survive Mm -hmm. and then the last part of functionality is actually the first part fun Fun! (laughs) (laughs) nothing spells fun like fun fun like okay we want you to be able to rollerblade in your outfit you should be able to climb a fence in your outfit. Yeah, you should be able earlier. to like do like a yoga pose yeah, on like impulse, like blow yeah. bubbles. <laughs> yeah, you should be able to mm-hmm. uh, pick something up off the ground and not feel like constricted or. Um, what if I want to go boxing? <laughs> Will it fit in my pocket? <laughs> Um, so, yeah, it's like, it's that's like essentially, like, that's what functionality stuff. can help. Yeah. Just the freedom that's to so live the lifestyle and just do what you want and never feel like what you're wearing is going to stop you from Someone's doing that. Um, apparently, Britt's getting a little bit feisty over here. Yeah, no, I'm not feisty. I'm just having fun. <laughs> luckily, she was able to bring her boxing gloves over here in her pocket. <laughs> yeah, luckily. Luckily, my pocket was large enough to fit my boxing yeah. gloves. <laughs> Luckily, the boxing gloves fit your hands as well. Yes. <laughs> Luckily, the, the color functions for my mood. Yes. All right. So, tonight we are going to be at California Cowboy. There is the event page is on my Facebook. It should be the last thing I or one of, the second to last thing I posted. So if you want some what free wine and try on the jumpers and just hang out with us and talk more about functionality and you're in the city or if, yeah if you just want to see more about what this uh, insane lifestyle is that Britt and I are living. Hashtag jumper life. Yeah, it'll be fun. And um, there's some other brands there. California Cowboy, all three of these brands that are going to be at the pop up are um, functional brands. So, California Cowboy is like Alprez ski and surfwear. So, stuff you want to wear like at the pool. Like, they have a shirt with terry cloth on the inside. So, you just put it on. You don't even need a towel at the pool. It's great. It's functional. Um, it also has, you know, pockets for your beer and anything else you can imagine they've thought of, which is great. Um, and Betsy Larkin's brand, mm-hmm. which is Honey Lovely, um, and that's yeah. it's modern um, modern shapewear. She's calling it sculptwear because it actually can lift lift your butt. It's magic, like it's amazing. Oh, so this is, yeah, she's yeah. definitely an example of functional <laughs> functional combining functionality <laughs> with beauty and beauty. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So so and then we'll be there. Yeah. So you can try on the jumpers or just. Come drink wine. Hmm? Yeah. A There's yeah. a teepee. It's free to attend. Yeah. 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 And yeah. Or for um, this, we can like, also, yeah, I think I'll see you the, tomorrow for the wardrobe the edit. I'll probably be doing it back in like the evening, top. and so hopefully I'll, I'll even see you sooner than that if you're in the city and you can come out tonight. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.